best and worst bargains at Aldi's. That's today's video. We're going to be going over some products and everything else. But first, what is Aldi's? Aldi's is a grocery store. It's a German grocery store. It has uh, 11,235 stores as of right now in 20 different countries. And it is a privately held company. It is also a company that they like to locally have products brought in that are from your local area. And much of their produce is sourced from local farms also that comes into your local stores. Now, we want to get right going on this right here, folks, because we need to find out what are some of the best things to buy and what are some of the not the best things to buy. So we're going to try to get through this list as quick as possible. Number one is mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is one of the most you know, popular condiments that you can have and you can be used in many dishes and everything else. And, but however, you know, depending on the brand nowadays, it can be very expensive. So if you're buying Aldi's brand, which is called Berman's Mayonnaise, um, it's not only delicious and tastes really good and it goes great in all your different things that you want to make and cook, um, but it is very inexpensive. You can pick a jar up at this for as little as a buck 89. Something else that you probably want to make sure you skip though is their cheap coffee all right coffee is one of these items where you should be selective before you put it into your cart just don't grab something and throw it in there if you are a coffee drinker you know what i mean they have a variety of flavors and brands to choose from but not all coffees are created equal correct folks their cheapest brand is Daily Basic Ground Coffee. Now, I have tried this coffee before, and it's not that good. And leave something to be desired also. You can get better tasting coffee, in my opinion, around the same price at your local grocery store, especially if you have coupons or if it is on sale. Something else that you probably want to skip, this could be a little controversial because it depends on the area that you do live in, all right? And that is fresh produce. Now, the consensus say that you should skip buying your fresh produce at Aldi's. According to the Consumer Reports, they conducted a survey and Aldi's was given a very high marks overall for the whole store and the products and everything else, but they received low scores for perishable items. This may be one of those that you may want to skip, or if you're going to buy them at your store, you make sure that you thoroughly check your fresh produce to make sure that it is good, there's, it's not rotten, and any of these things here. If you're not growing your own, or maybe you don't have a local far farm stand that you can buy from. Now this next one here will make a lot of people out there happy, especially all you women. Uh, buying the wine. Wine is a place as Aldi's. All right, Aldi's is the place that you want to buy all your wine. They have a full collection of inexpensive options. Many of their bottles are under 10 bucks. I mean, you can't go wrong, right? And you just, picking out wine is just, you know, a great thing at Aldi's. Uh, they don't skip on the quality and you can't beat the bargains and the prices. And some of their wines are rated up there with the top wines of the world. They have a nice selection of wines and... They also have some very high quality ratings on their wine products. This next one is also another one that could be a little controversial depending on where you do live. Is meat. They all say you should be skipping buying your meat from Aldi's. Their meat gets very mixed reviews on Reddit, but most of the comments are negative. Uh, one commenter did write, don't let the potential bargain lure you into purchasing your meat at Aldi's. You can find a better tasting meat for cheaper at other stores if they are on sale. So the, the trick here, folks, is, is you got to shop around and possibly see if another store has what you're looking for on sale and maybe at a better price than what Aldi's is selling it. I will say, Center Cut Pork Chops, Aldi's has the best. It's the only place that I'll buy pork chops from, and that's it. If, no, if they don't have them, then once again, I won't buy them anywhere else because I think all these pork chops are top notch. Uh, the center cut pork chops. The early bird gets the worm in all these. Remember that also, folks, because you know why? They only get so much of this stuff in. And if you wait till later in the day to go in, more than likely you will not 
get some of these goods because whatever they get, they put it right out, they stock everything, and there's none left in the back room till the next truck arrives. This one here is for all the guys. This here is the German beer. Now, they don't have a large selection of German beer, but the varieties that they do have available are top-notch, folks. You will be impressed by the quality and the price tag is excellent. All right, they bring these beers in from Belgium and everywhere else, and they are really good. So if you like a good German beer, I would highly suggest trying one from Aldi's. Another thing that you want to make sure that you are buying from Aldi's is especially cheeses. They have one of the most amazing selection of some of the most wonderful cheeses and specialty cheeses out there, okay? You cheese lovers out there, you will love buying your cheese at Aldi's. They have a ton of varieties, but the price tags will knock your socks off. So you want to make sure that you are buying your specialty cheeses at Aldi's. And if you have a lot of kids at home, it's summertime right now, and you may also want to buy their Frosted Flakes. Now, if you put Kellogg's Frosted Flakes right next to theirs, which is called Millville Frosted Flakes, the ingredients are almost exactly the same and the taste is almost the same as also. The thing of it is you can buy a box of Aldi's for around two bucks, maybe a little bit less, compared to going to a name brand store to buy the same product and it get you anywhere between four fifty and six bucks a box. If you got a lot of kids and they're hungry in the morning for breakfast, that's the way to go. Something else you want to make sure that you are buying at Aldi's is spices. All right, you got to make sure you go in there. You got to check out their spices. Their spices, they don't have a lot, but what they do have is all the basic ones that you will need to do any of your cooking and baking and everything else. And you can stock up on these for really cheap prices, even cheaper than Walmart. Canned goods. Buy your canned goods. Buy all your canned goods and stuff at Aldi's. All right. That's another big winner that they are really highly rated in. Um, you'll get really good discounted prices and good quality and everything else. And they're cheaper than just about any other store out there. And you want to make sure that you are buying your canned goods from Aldi's. Your wallet will thank you. One thing that you do want to skip, toiletries. Do not buy any of your toiletries or anything from Aldi's. Okay, Aldi's puts those there as probably more of a convenience for you if you forgot to get them at Walmart, Target, Walgreens, CBS, or any of these other different types of stores. You can throw in a bar of soap. Maybe you forgot a thing of deodorant or a toothbrush or toothpaste, but you're going to pay more for it there. So make sure you're skipping buying that stuff there. Go to the other stores and buy all those products. Um, they do sell European sweets there. And if you've never had European sweets, some of those chocolates and stuff are just to die for, folks. And they are at a very, very low cost. And the selection ranges from truffles to chocolate bars and savor flavors and sizes. Buy your European sweets at Aldi's. Something you want to make sure you are skipping is chips. Do not buy the Clancy chips at Aldi's. They just don't have the taste or anything else. There's nothing like a Lay's potato chip or a Frito-Lay uh, corn chip and in any of these. There's nothing that compares to those. So I would highly suggest just skipping buying the chips at Aldi's. And now another one that I found quite odd, but this is what the consensus say, is butter. And they say you should skip buying your butter at Aldi's. Now I have bought tons of butter from Aldi's, just a regular salted butter. Never had any problems or anything else. But a lot of people say, you know, they don't like the way that the butter is. And when they're using it, it doesn't give them the same results. Like I said, I've never had a problem. Uh, one thing that you want to make sure you're buying at Aldi's is the never any chicken breast. You got to buy this stuff here, folks. It's going to run you between four and five bucks a pound. But... There is nothing in this. It is rated as some of the most high quality chicken breasts that you can buy at any store anywhere. Period. Hands down. And we all know, what is there? A couple thousand different ways that you can make chicken? 
So there you go. If you're really worried about having chicken that has any crap or anything else in it, you want to buy the Never Any Chicken Breast from Aldi's. Make sure you read the package because it says Never Any on it. Another thing that you want to make sure that you are buying is their baking products, okay? Uh, they offer several different products such as, you know, brown sugar, cane sugar, uh, all-purpose flour. It's all in their private label. I, call, I think it's called Baker's Corner, uh, which sells at a totally cheaper price. Uh, some of the famous brands can sell these same products at twice the price of what you're going to pay at Aldi's. So make sure you're buying all your baking goods and everything else. And the closer that we do get to the holidays, you may want to make sure that you are stocking up because Lord only knows what's going to be available once we get to that end of this year. Another one you want to buy is their milk. Aldi is still the place to buy milk. A product so much appreciated by young and old alike. Indeed, their prices are very competitive and usually you'll get the best price on their milk and it is usually locally farmed. Another one you want to make sure you are buying is bread. Now they do have a nice wide selection of all different types of breads. They have Italian breads, they have baguettes, they have bagels, they have all different types of whole wheat and all these things and their bread prices by far are the best in town so you want to make sure that you are checking out their bread products one other thing you want to skip kitty litter it just plain sucks okay folks it's really just don't even buy it don't even think about it buy it up somewhere else if you're buying your cat litter let's just leave that one at that Another one that you want to make sure you are skipping is paper towels and toilet paper. And the reason being isn't because of the quality. The reason being is because it's the price points. And if you do have coupons and another store does have it on sale, you're going to come out far more ahead than if you had bought it at Aldi's. So you got to make sure that you know your prices that's going on in all your different stores. If you have coupons, if it's on sale and everything else, then I would highly suggest that you buy it elsewhere. If not and you need it, then you could always buy it at Aldi's. That's just my personal opinion on paper products as in paper towels and toilet paper. Something else you want to buy at Aldi's is frozen fruits. Now, I highly suggest you buy all your frozen fruits and things at Aldi's. They have the best prices on their frozen fruits. It's very high quality and everything else. Unlike their fresh produce, their frozen produce is top notch. All right. Now, something if it goes along with your beer and your pizza and your cheese, all right, they're take and bake pizzas. You got to buy these things, all right? They have a great selection on take and bake pizzas, all right? They're priced right between anywhere between four and six to ninety nine, depending on the pizza you get. And they're not only really a bargain, but these pizzas they're, they're huge. Their sixteen inch pies are larger than some of the ones that are offered by some of the local pizza places, you know, like Domino's and you know, all these kind of places. You're getting a better deal. You just have to take it home and bake it. There you go. So make sure you're buying it there. Now, buying your peanut butter at Aldi's, that is a definitely thing that you want to make sure that you are doing. A lot of shoppers already know that they should be buying their peanut butter and stuff at Aldi's. They offer a nice selection and of uh, different types of uh, peanut butter, including their Peanut Delight Creamy Peanut Butter, uh, Peanut Butter Delight Natural Creamy Peanut Butter, spread and they also have a um, organic one simply nature cream it butter spread so you want to make sure you're buying your peanut butter because of the price and the taste it's right there folks so try it out all right another thing that you want to buy is pure maple syrup believe it or not yes their pure, pure maple syrup that they do have the price tag will make you smile compared to all the other stores in your local area um, but I mean, even good housekeeping, give them a double thumbs up on their pure maple syrup that they do sell. Buying any type of gluten-free products, you want to get them at Aldi's. Hands down, you know, people with allergies and dietary restrictions, you know, you'll be happy to know that at Aldi's, as an inexpensive selection of gluten-free products, and many of their items are actually 
Um, kind of tasty for being gluten-free. Uh, they even have their own brand, Live G-Free, and that offers several products ranging from frozen foods to baking mixes to all different types of products throughout the store. So look at those. Uh, when you're in there, they have the name on them, Living G-Free. All right, so buy all your gluten-free products at Aldi's to save yourself some money. Only got a couple left here, folks. The next one is buy your cream cheese. Uh, cream cheese is hands down. You want to make sure you are buying it at Aldi's. Um, they have it for usually ranges right around 99 cents, and it's called the, the Happy Farms cream cheese. You're not going to beat the price. The taste is really good. You're not even going to notice the difference. It's not Philadelphia cream cheese that you're paying four or five bucks for at another grocery store or anything else buy the cream cheese from Aldi's. The last one that, you're, that you want to make sure you are buying is the Kirkwood Chicken Chunks. Now these get very, very high quality marks from a lot of different uh, people out there in the food world. Um, they are some of the most tastiest chicken chunks that you can buy. They don't call them chicken tenders, they call them chicken chunks. And they just recently introduced two new flavors to their whole lineup. And that is the barbecue recipe and the salt and pepper. And you can get them for $4.99 a bag. So today's video was basically the best and the worst bargains at Aldi's. And what you should buy and what you maybe should stay away from. Now I don't totally agree with all the stay away froms. But that's what the consensus out there all say. I think you have to try some of these products and make sure that you um, make your own decision on what you should be buying from Aldi's because Aldi's is probably one of the cheapest stores still left out there that you can get some really good products on. And this way here, you can stay prepared and you will be ready. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this video today. I hope you all enjoyed it. And until next time, I will catch all of you on the flip side.